What's up socials? It's Sexy Wednesday. Today we talk about all things design, prettiness, and sexiness. I'm taking a viewer question from my Tumblr and this is from Sunset Bucket List. She wanted to know about how you install those pretty little social links on your website. You guys might remember from a video back in March that I did about analyzing your blog's sidebar, how I feel about social links. I personally prefer that people don't click something in the sidebar that will send them to another site unless there is an important call to action included in it and sending website visitors to your social networks isn't that important. So I do prefer these different widgets that each social network does offer so that people can like your Facebook page without actually leaving your site. That said, that may not be your thing and I'm happy to help you regardless because it is important for your website visitors to know that you are socially active. Get it? So let's go over to our trusty friend here at the computer of how I would go about including social links on my website. So to start, we need to find the buttons that we want to put on the site, right? So for an example here, we're basically on the Twitter informational page. If you go to twitter.com slash about, you see that up here, um, you can kind of dig into some information about Twitter. Uh, but over here, you can also check out logo and brand. We're going to be pulling buttons from here. If you want automatic buttons in your sidebar, you want to just ha be able to press the tweet button um, with somebody not leaving your site, you can do that here. Um, it ultimately is giving you the opportunity to design that stuff and then copy some code. But if you just wanted one of these uh, logos that will link to your Twitter account, um, this would be the place to go to download their logo. They're showing you proper use of their logo here. Twitter is very good about keeping you informed about this stuff. So basically you choose which one you want to download and we're going to be uploading that to your site. Facebook also has similar information on their developers.facebook.com page. So then what I like to do, this is the back end of WordPress. This is my blog. I like to open a blog post draft because I'm not a coder. I do not know HTML off the top of my head. I ain't trying to learn. Uh, so I will come in here and act like I am uploading an image just like you would for any other blog post. So I'm going to select a file here. So I'm going to select my logo here, the official logo. It's going to upload to the media files of Savvy Sexy Social and I'm going to full size insert it into the post. So now we have our logo here. I don't know why it's all the way over there. Um, but And then we're essentially going to highlight it and add a link to it, right? So we're highlighting it, add a link, just like you would in a blog post. What's the link? Well, my Twitter account is schmatastic. So we're going to put that information there, add the link. And then here's what's key. Switch over here to text. See how I was in visual? Now I'm in text and you've got your HTML code here ready to go. Now keep in mind, your sidebar has a specific width and you probably don't need your bird to be 300 by 300. So this is where I like to play with that size. The nice thing about this logo is that it is a square. So in this instance, we'll just do 150 by 150 and that's fine just for this example. So I'm going to highlight that, copy, and then I'm going to go over to my widgets. Widgets in WordPress are essentially what's happening in the different areas of your site that are not the main content like your sidebar. So this is my primary sidebar here. I'm going to take a text widget because that's what I'm, I'm installing. I'm installing HTML text and I'm going to paste that information. So that is telling it the the um, URL for the image, where to get the image, and it's also telling you the URL where to send somebody if they click on the image, and it's also saying how big the image should be. So we're going to save that, and then we are going to go to the front page of the site. Scroll down here, and there's our guy. So now you see the little Twitter logo, click that Twitter logo. You are now on my Twitter page. So you can do this with any logo. That's the quick way that I like to get my HTML 
code and install a button on my site. Like I've said before though, my favorite thing to do is to use the buttons to follow or even a widget that will show you recent activity where they don't have to leave my site. This is all, anything here in this sidebar is not taking you away from my site. I want you to view my content. The social media brought you here, I want you to stick around. So if you wanna have social buttons so that you are letting people know that you are social, try to make them widgets that will keep people around, such as this like box from Facebook and the follow buttons for, for Twitter. I even have a subscribe box for YouTube. So definitely something to keep in mind and all of these widgets are available if you Google the social network and their additional features. Ah, pretty. So pretty. Thanks for tuning in. As always, hopefully you have some nice little social buttons on your website already. If not, hopefully today it helped you. If it did, make sure you like this video because that helps me. Thank you so much and subscribe because I make videos three times a week and I don't want you to miss the next one, which will be tomorrow. So hit that subscribe button and tweet with me if you have any more questions. And of course, I'm in the comments section, but you can use Atchmatastic or at SavvySexySocial and I will respond to you. See you tomorrow for Social Thursday.